Hey everyone, welcome back. So, it is August. It is the end of August at this point, as y'all know. And as y'all can tell, I am very much ready for Halloween, slash fall, slash everything. I have my fall makeup, I have my hat, and then I've also got a pumpkin cream cold brew. I'm very excited. Does any of that have anything to do with today's video? Absolutely not, but why would it? We are going to be doing a empties video today. I am very excited for that. I love empties videos. I think they're very helpful when it comes to seeing if you're going to end up buying an item, if you're going to repurchase it, because I think ultimately that's, that's what determines whether or not when I'm watching these kinds of videos, if I'm going to buy something. Because like I like reviews and all, but a lot of the time you'll see someone review an item, say it's the best thing ever, but literally never touch it again. And I'm just, I'm just not here for that. So I'm going to be doing an empties video and I'm going to be telling you guys all about it. Today we're focusing on skincare. I am going to do another one sometime in the future with makeup empties but I didn't want it to be super, super long, so I'm just doing some skincare that I've been trying, and we're gonna, we're gonna just go from there. First thing I'm gonna start with is we're gonna do kind of like some, some cleansing items, and then we'll, we'll move on. I don't have a whole lot, but I have some stuff. So we're gonna start with the Fountain of Truth Take It Off Cleansing Balm. So I got this a few months ago, and I am completely out of it. Obviously, this is an empties video. I'm completely out of it. So there's some pros and cons to this. When I got it, the reason I got it is because it had a lot of really good skincare benefits according to the packaging. A lot of soothing, smoothing, anti-aging benefits and I do love that. That it helped with texture and redness and calming the skin, which I always have problems with. My skin is always upset about something. I just wanted to try it. I wanted to see if I would like it and it was okay. First of all, my first problem with, is with the packaging. It's a twist to open kind of thing. So you twist it and then you squeeze it. The first time I used this, the very first time I, I did this and I went to squeeze it out and the top seam popped open and so because of that I ended up needing to use it like this because it there wasn't any pressure now there wasn't enough pressure to keep it to squeeze out of this side if that makes any sense so that was my first problem day one second problem is that unless you are wearing very very light makeup so if I were to try and take off what I've got on right now it would take several rounds of cleansing with this plus a like micellar water or a cleansing oil at the end and then my normal cleanser. It didn't do a great job of taking off the makeup. You can't use it on your eyes. I don't like makeup remover products that you can't use on your eyes. I learned the first time I used it, I put it on my eyes and my eyes burned and I said, why is this? And it said, don't put it on your eyes. And I said, wow, okay, that's cool. And I don't like, especially if it's a balm of any sort or a cleansing oil, if I can't use it on my eyes, I'm not, I'm not a big fan because I want to be able to use my balm everywhere. I want it to get everything off. It, I couldn't use it on my eyes. It didn't take the makeup off very well. After I got it all cleansed, also you have to use a muslin cloth with it. And it comes with it. When you buy it, it comes with it. But you have to use that with it, apparently. I tried using a washcloth with it one time. That didn't work. Like, you have to use the muslin cloth. I don't really understand why. You just have to. And I did, and it worked fine. But another thing, I like being able to use my cleansing balm and then just rinse it off with water. I don't want to need to use a cloth or a washcloth or something like that. I want to just be able to rinse it off and have everything come. For the price, this was a hefty price. It's $36. $36, it's four fluid ounces, but you have to use so much in one sitting to get everything off. I just, you're using so much product. It doesn't do enough. I just wasn't a fan. Now, my favorite cleansing 
balm as of right now that and it has been for quite a while is the clinique take the day off balm you can use it on your eyes you can use it all over the face it takes everything off in one go i don't need to use a cloth with it i can just rinse it and it'll be gone it's way cheaper it's like 20 something bucks whereas this is 36 and the other one does so much better so would i repurchase this no i wouldn't I don't like it. Let's, I've got a couple toners that I have. The first one, this is a very basic toner. I just wanted to try it. I've never tried it before and I was seeing a lot about it. People really like it. So this is the Thayer's, Thayer's facial toner. This is the Witch Hazel Rose Petal Toner. So I got this when I was going through a really bad acne period. My skin flared up super bad. I was getting really angry cystic breakouts and i don't often get those but i had them and i was like i need something to get rid of this and so i was doing a lot of research and everybody said use some sort of a witch hazel this one is the best one do this 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 and that and so i was like all right i'll get a small one i'll give it a shot i had used witch hazel before when i was like really really young it was some organic type of witch hazel it was pure witch hazel there was nothing else in it I, I don't remember which one it was I used it when I was younger like before I even had any skin problems I was like seven I don't I don't know I haven't used it since then so I got this and I tried it and I wasn't really surprised that this happened but it dried my skin out I have dry skin it dried my skin out but that's to be expected it was a witch hazel product and it also has a lot more in it other than witch hazel. There's water, there's glycerin, there's the witch hazel, there's aloe, there's some other random stuff in it, fragrance, grapefruit seed extract. I mean, there's, there's a lot in here besides just witch hazel and rose. I don't typically like things with rose, but I think this was the only one that was available. So it dried my skin out. I didn't notice any help with my breakouts. Honestly, I thought it made them a little bit worse because they were dried out, but angry. So I gave it a fair shot, obviously. I used the whole thing, but I just, I didn't really like it. It didn't do the things that people were claiming it to do. Now, maybe if you have more oily skin, maybe if you're more combination to oily, you might like this more. You could use a little bit of drying, you know, to the acne. But for me personally, I wouldn't recommend it for people with combination or dry skin. Just because with my normal to dry skin, it dried it out and made, honestly, I think everything worse. So there's that. So there's that toner. I would not repurchase this one. I wanted to give it a shot. I did, not a fan, is what it is. The other toner I have, I have a mini one of the Dermalogica Multi-Active Toner. I don't remember what this was supposed to do, honestly. My esthetician said, here, try it, you'll like it. And I said, okay. And I did, and I did like it. I totally did like it. I don't really remember what it did. I remember it being hydrating, which I loved. I love hydrating toners. I remember it being very smoothing too, like I would use it. You can use it a couple different ways. You can just spray it directly on the face if you want to, which is what she did. Or you can spray it onto a cotton pad or onto your fingers and rub it in. I did both. I'm personally one of those people where I like to rub my toner in with a cotton pad. It helps me get that extra thing of cleansing. I like that method better than just spraying one on or like pressing one into the skin. I like rubbing one away. I guess, if that makes any sense. What I remember this was supposed to do, it was supposed to hydrate, it was supposed to smooth and soothe the skin, and it totally did that. Totally did that. Now, Dermalogic is expensive, as we know. I do remember really liking this. I remember it being pretty effective for my skin. I don't, I don't know if I would repurchase it just because I have since then found toners I like more. If I had found those, I would definitely repurchase it, but because I have found some other toners that are just ever so slightly more effective for me, I wouldn't, but I do recommend it. I do think if you have dry, acne prone, 
textured skin, I think you would like it. It works for combination skin too. I think you could do it on a different variety of skin types. I did like it. I thought it was good. I definitely recommend it. Moving on, we've got a facial oil. This is the Julep Boost Your Radiance Reparative Rosehip Seed Facial Oil. So I had this for like 8,000 years. It took so long to get through this, but that's, that's good. I really liked it, honestly. I thought it was very soothing. It helped with some of my scarring that I've had from some vicious breakouts. I do recommend doing one that is like just rosehip oil. This had some other things in it. I don't really remember what all. But for acne scarring, I recommend just straight cold pressed rosehip oil that that is super effective. This one was kind of diluted so it could be a regular facial oil, but it was hydrating. I noticed that I couldn't layer other products with it. It was either gonna need to be by itself or not at all, which I don't like. And I run into that with a lot of oils. If I put any type of other serum or moisturizer under the oil, it will peel up and it'll kind of feel gross and I just don't like it. And that And this one did that as well. If it was by itself, it felt great. It was very hydrating. It, synced into, it sunk into the skin very well. One of the claims with this is that within 30 seconds, it's completely absorbed and you don't have a greasy residue anymore. I find that to be very true. I didn't have any problems with it staying greasy and oily. I could wear this under makeup if I was just wearing it by itself and I thought it did a great job. Because I can't layer other products with it, I would not repurchase it. However, if you're someone who just likes to slap on like some oil or if you want to just wear an oil out just to get that really pretty glow, this would be fantastic. It's got good skincare benefits because of the rosehip oil and some other stuff that's in it. It was really nice. Now, I don't know, because Julep I don't think exists anymore. Because of that, there are other rosehip oils that you can get. It's not stellar, it's not the best thing I've ever tried. It just kinda, it is what it is. The other Julep product I have is the So Awake Deep Puffing Gel Eye Cream, another product where I just didn't see results from it. I didn't feel less puffy. I, it didn't help with any dark circles. It was kind of hydrating. I did not see a difference. It, and it took me so long to get through it just because I would try other eye creams that would do more. And this just, it just didn't do it. I've been using one of the long comb eye creams. I don't remember which one it is, but I've been using one of those that helps target puffiness and dark circles. And it has done amazing. This for the price, I don't remember how much it was. I remember it being expensive. It just didn't do it for me. So I would not, if it was still available, I would not repurchase the eye cream. Is a moisturizer. This is the It Confidence in a Cream. One of the most raved about moisturizers that you will hear about from the women that come into Ulta. <laughs> I didn't like it. It's thick, okay? It is very thick. And I only like thick moisturizers at night. This is supposed to be a daytime and a nighttime moisturizer. I don't think it is. I think it is way too thick to wear under makeup. It's way too thick to wear out, especially during the summer. It's just, it's hot. And it burned when I put it on. I don't know why. I don't know what was in it to make it burn, but it burned. It did not do anything as, honestly, as far as hydrating goes, my skin felt just as dry after it absorbed as it did before I put the moisturizer on. So it didn't do anything as far as that. It didn't smooth out my skin. It was apparently supposed to help with textured skin and all that kind of stuff. And I, it did not do that for me. <laughs> and for the price, it's just not worth it to me. It did not do a good job. I don't really understand the hype. And anybody, like up my other coworkers, anybody who's tried this, this moisturizer, they they have the same grapes it's super thick it burns it has a weird fragrance there's so many ingredients in it and like there's a list of ingredients i don't like stuff that has super long ingredients list it's not necessary and the good ingredients that are in this are so far down on the list that it hardly even counts when you look at everything else that's in it it just it doesn't have the benefits and it says it's for all skin types as well and if you have any sort of oil production even if you're like normal that will make you oily 
you need to be super dry in order to even tolerate it and when i first tried it i was really dry at the time and it did not do it for me would i repurchase absolutely not i have the mini one i think i got it for my birthday gift at ulta i would not get this it it did not do good things for my skin okay so we are to the last product that i have very quickly but i have been yammering for a while so this is and i'm going to be talking about many other masks besides just the one um this is the flora b clear complexion mask now if you guys remember when i did a affordable skincare video a few weeks back these were the the face masks that i mentioned in the video i was so excited to try these i tried almost all of the masks that they carry um, this is just the one I still have the packaging for and I really liked these my skin felt super soft you guys know that I mentioned in the video I love cheap masks that have a lot of serum in them because I can just ooze and just bathe in the serum of the mask I love that of course because they are aromatherapy masks they smelled so so good I really liked them I I would like to try them more I haven't gotten a chance to try them since then but I would love to try them more they were super affordable they're really nice I really liked them I would continue to use them if I had them stockpiled in my mask drawer I would keep using them I really liked them they my skin always felt amazing after I used them I loved using them in the morning before I put my makeup on it they would create a beautiful base for makeup they just they were good i would absolutely repurchase these i plan on repurchasing these they're fantastic that is all of the products that i have to show you guys today most of the stuff i did not like but that's that's why we do these videos so i can tell you guys that hey i didn't like these things don't go get them don't don't waste weeks of your life using these products just to use them. Get hype for some fall and very soon Halloween tutorials. I have a lot planned for the spooky Halloween season and I am so excited for that. We're gonna have some fun this year, you guys. Um, So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. It helps me know what kind of content y'all like seeing. If you did like this video and you want to see more of the random nonsense that I post every week, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time some disaster is uploaded on my channel. For whatever reason, if the bell is not working, I do upload every Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. So y'all know that I am here at Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern Time every single week to bother you. I'm here. All of the products that I did mention will be listed in the description below because I want you guys to do your own research. This is just how this stuff worked on my skin. It may, it may be the best thing ever for you. So I definitely recommend doing your own research into these products. So they will be in the description so you can do that. As well as all of my social media, because you guys should go check out my social media. I post on that probably more than I post on my YouTube channel. Sometimes that's gonna be it. I will see you guys in next week's video. Later.